So I thought about setting up my camera, getting back in bed, pretending I was sleeping, pretending to wake up, and then doing all that jazz. But I figured by now, you guys all know that that's a setup and it's fake. So we're going to start the vlog in bed. Ugh. This is the hardest part of my day, getting out of bed. My bed is so cozy. I've got my heated blanket on. It's like freezing outside. Let's see what the temperature is outside. 27 degrees. Uh, why do I live in the Midwest? All right, let's let's get up. Let's get up and go to class. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady cuz I'm happy. I'm not gonna wake up. We have got a busy day today. I have skills lab from, oh, maybe I should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Casey. I am a nursing student currently in an accelerated nursing program. And I also work at an ER as an ER tech. And I dabble in a little bit of fitness. So if any of those things interest you, um, make sure you subscribe so you should can see all the content that I put out. I post new videos every single week. Today I have skills lab from 8.30 a.m. to noon. And then um, I am going to be going into work at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So after skills lab, it's really important that I take a nap. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow, Thursday, so I'm going to get off work at 7 a.m. Thursday. I then have class at 9 a.m. from 9 to noon. So that should be fun. <laughs> I've done this one time before um, and it worked out okay. But yeah, these are the struggles of working night shift and being a nursing student. So I would usually bring some sort of caffeine source, but because I want to go to sleep after class, I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to be raw dogging class today. No caffeine. And then I threw on this cute little pullover because it matches the drawstrings of my scrubs exactly. And then it is 27 degrees out. We need a coat. It might be 27 degrees out, but it's sunny. I am back from class and I wanted to actually take a moment to say thank you so much to the sponsor of today's video, Create Amore. So Create Amore I have worked with in the past. They are the scrubs that I am currently wearing. Create Amore is my favorite scrub brand. You guys, I am so excited that they sent me these scrubs because I have to wear navy blue scrubs for school. It's our nursing uniform and the scrubs at the school store, they just were not it. And I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to wear these for clinicals and skills lab. So a couple reasons why I love Create More Scrubs. Number one, the fit. There is no other scrub brand out there that fits me this good. You guys, I struggle so, so much to find scrubs that will fit my waist and my thighs. And Create More Scrubs actually do. And the fabric is so stretchy. Like, I love when scrubs just look super crisp and professional but my issue with some scrub brands look great 
but then when it comes down to the functionality, the fabric is stiff and it doesn't move with you and you bend over and then half your butt falls out. Or you can't even bend over at all because they've got no stretch. The waistband is adjustable, which is super nice. The waistband has been sewn into the middle of the ribbed elastic. I can tighten this waistband as much as I want and it won't migrate to the top of the elastic and start digging in. So just all the details are so well thought out. Create Amore was so kind. They actually sent me two scrub sets, which is perfect because some weeks I'm gonna have skills lab and clinicals. That way I don't have to worry about washing my scrubs and I'll have two sets for class. You guys, I'm usually such a jogger girl, but these cargos have my heart. Absolutely love these. They are a great length, love the fit. They fit my thighs, but then still fit my waist. And then this top is actually my new favorite top. This is the Orchid three pocket top. I like it because as a student, I get a little nervous and I start to sweat. So this top is great because it is loose around my armpits and it is so, so breathable, but it still gives me a great feminine shape. I also love the slit in the front. Again, just adds femininity, but it still keeps you super modest. Like if you bend over and whatnot, you're not gonna be spilling out of the top. And then what I love is you can either wear this top tucked in or wear it super, super flowy. These cargos are amazing because they still have great stretch and you can bend over without worrying about showing your crack and whatnot. I will have all of Create Amore's information linked down below. Make sure you guys check them out. You guys, when I work with a brand, it is because I truly, truly love them. And this is like my third or fourth time working with Create Amore. So thank you, Create Amore, for sponsoring this video. But you guys, I cannot recommend Create Amore scrubs enough. They are absolutely perfect for a nursing student who's gonna have clinicals or skills lab, or if you already work in the hospital and you are looking for high quality durable scrubs these are it i know that these are going to last me way past nursing school and way past my clinicals and i will definitely be wearing these as a nurse because they are high quality durable and built to last so thank you so much create more for sponsoring this video a bit how I'm able to nap or sleep during the day for work and I have three tips that make it super easy to be able to sleep during the day so number one your phone you got to put that thing on do not disturb because you can tell people you work night shift all day long but they do not understand that you're sleeping during the day you're still gonna get calls and text messages and you want to make sure that you're not being woken up by your phone number two is I have this super super loud fan and I use it as white noise to block out any noise that might be coming from outside my apartment. And then the third tip, you have to invest in blackout curtains or a sleep mask, or if you're like me, you have both. So my blackout curtains are from Target and then this little sleep mask is from Amazon. And let me tell you, this thing does not let any light in. So this, with the combination of the blackout curtains, it literally feels like nighttime. I know I've made a couple of videos already on like how do I adjust to night shift, how I sleep for a night shift. So if you guys have any additional night shift questions, go ahead and drop those down below and I'll also leave a bank leave a link to those other videos that I but night shift is really hard to adjust to you're breaking the circadian rhythm you've had with your body your entire life so give yourself a little grace like I'll be honest when I first started working night shift it did take a whole month um for me to adjust and it it was a hard adjustment <laughs> Thank you.
All right, you guys, I'm literally running out the door. I'm wearing my Create A More scrubs because I figured they were already dirty from class, so why not wear the same pair so I don't dirty up two pairs of scrubs. Got on the Crocs. Torn was so nice, and he just packed my lunch for me because I'm running late. So I will catch up with you guys in 12 hours. Good morning, you guys. Um, It is 8.45 in the morning, and I'm just now leaving work. I stayed an hour and 45 minutes late. The day shift tech called out and they didn't have a replacement until 11. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just stay up anyway because I have class at nine. I might as well stay an extra hour and 45 minutes, get paid and make sure I stay awake for class. Um, which actually worked out perfectly because I didn't check in a single patient in that hour and 45 minutes, which was so nice. So I actually was able to knock out a chapter of reading, which was great. Um, so last night, I hate using the Q word. If you work in medicine, you know the Q word is like the naughtiest, worst four letter word you could ever use. But last night was a quiet shift. And I really only checked in three, or no, I checked in four patients last night, only, no, 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 five, because two patients were ER patients. One was someone who was checking in for a laceration, then another patient was nausea vomiting, and then I checked in three uh, labor checks. So women who are trying to have babies. And I was just talking to one of the other nurses and it's so nice to, um, work over at the, um, women's part of the hospital, um, where like the laboring moms check in because they're excited to be there. And, you know, Usually people are not excited to come to the ER, so it's just nice to get like that different change in energy because the ER can be kind of a morbid place and a place with high anxiety and just every, like the patients are high strung and they're anxious because they didn't plan on coming to the ER and they're unsure what's gonna happen to them. Where, you know, the moms and their partners are so excited, they've been planning for this for nine months um, and they know what the outcome's gonna be. They're gonna get a baby. And so it was nice to be around that shift in energy. But right now I'm headed to class. I actually feel fine. Um, I don't feel tired. Um, I think that obviously is gonna change once I have to sit down and be like lectured at um, because that isn't super engaging. Where when I'm at work, it's just way more engaging so it's easier to stay awake. Um, I have class until noon, and I'm hoping and praying that I'm gonna get let out early so I can go to sleep because I do work one more shift tonight. I don't have class on Friday though, so right now it's Thursday morning. Um, Thursdays are my Fridays, school-wise, um, so I can sleep in tomorrow. Alright you guys, I am headed off into work. I'm talking quieter than I usually do because Torin actually has a Zoom interview right now for grad school. So fingers crossed right now that his interview is going good and this is his first interview. So really hoping it goes well for him. I know he's a little nervous as anyone is before interviews. So I just wanna make sure I respect the noise level in the apartment. So we're gonna just be a little bit quieter. But I slept today from, thank God I got out of class one hour early. So I was able to sleep today from noon to 5.45, got up, packed my lunch, slicked my hair back so I didn't look all gross, washed my face, and then, oh, and then I didn't pick up the camera after class, but I showered 
after class because obviously I felt icky. So I went to bed nice and clean and now I'm just wearing my other set of Create Amore scrubs. I just love the way they fit and feel so much. I was like, you know what? I need to finish off my work week wearing my Create Amore scrubs. So I'm heading off to work, but I actually did want to give you guys a quick tip. So last night I told you I checked in a laceration. So whenever you're out in triage, you usually want to redress the patient's wound because people don't have medical dressing supplies at home and they usually come in and the wound is wrapped in a towel, a paper towel, a t-shirt, whatever they have. And so you just want to redress that wound so then when the doctor sees it, it's easier to take on and off. So the issue with like towels, paper towels, cloth, is that when the wound bleeds, the material is gonna dry to the wound and adhere to the wound. So then when you have to take that off, it's gonna really hurt the patient. So I like to use something called an ABD pad or a non-adherent pad or non-adherent dressing. These are super nice because they don't adhere to the wound. Um, if you were to use like a woven sponge, a two by two or a four by four, all of that is gonna get in the wound and it's gonna be super painful for the patient to take off. So if you have a lac repair, that is what I recommend dressing it with just cause it'll be super easy for the patient. You just tell them, hey, this dressing is better because it's not gonna get stuck in the wound. So when you have to take it on and off, show the doctor, get stitches, whatnot, you are not going to be in pain when you have to take the wound off. So that was something I didn't know until I actually worked in the ER for a couple of years that there were things called non-adherent dressings. So check out your supply room and see if they have those ABD pads or non-adherent dressings. But we have got to head into work. So I'll catch you guys in 12 hours. Hello friends, we are back in the car. I am going home after night shift number two. I'm tired, but we made it. It was actually super, super nice. Um, I didn't realize I was gonna get this tonight, but we had a holiday meal. Um, so the hospital picks a couple different, oh, not the camera. So the hospital picks a couple different days um, and they bring us dinner, which is super, super nice and kind of them, you know, just to boost the holiday spirit and whatnot. Um, so that was nice because I was super hungry. I ate my holiday meal plus the lunches that I brought. Um, was not super busy tonight. I was back out in triage, which I love being out there. Um, I've said this in my previous videos, you get to use so much assessment skills when you're out in triage, uh, which is super, super nice. Good afternoon, you guys. I woke up. If you hear someone talking in the background, that's just Torin. But I woke up at about four, but then I scrolled on my phone for like 20 minutes. I just wasn't ready to get out of bed. I actually feel like I slept really, really good. Like the second my head hit the pillow, I knocked out. I know earlier when I was talking to you guys, my camera battery died and I was just so tired when I got home. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get straight to bed. I'll film when I wake up. So I think what I wanna do now is I wanna to go to the gym and then I do want to study a little bit. I take a final in six days, my first final for nursing school. So I wanna make sure I study and then I'm sitting on some footage for a YouTube vlog. So I at least wanna start editing the vlog today, finish editing it tomorrow. That way I can get it up for you guys next week. Welcome to Casey's Ratchet Salon. We are waxing Torin's eyebrows. He asked me if I could film and I said no. So now the camera's here. All right. You asked me and I said no. What did I say? I thought you said something else. I might have. Yeah. All right. Deep breath in and out. <gasps> Good job. Your monthly, monthly maintenance is done. You guys, Sam's Club has already struck. We came here for like a couple of items and there's already stuff in the cart that I don't need but want. They have Uggs here. See how they don't say Australia, they just say Ugg. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 